Making stuffed cabbage. I got three medium sized cabbages and you have to core them, which is basically take out that stem. So when you get done coring it, it's about half to three quarters of the way down inside. And then I have a big pot. I have boiling water going on. And I put the cabbages in there. The water level is just enough to keep above the cabbages. My mom's recipe says to add sugar. So I put two teaspoons of sugar in there. So we're gonna be making stuffed cabbage. We're gonna be using my mom's recipe, which I'm sure it's my grandmother's recipe. This is one of the cards, and you can see that we use three pounds of chopped meat, two cups of rice, which I pre-cooked to almost done, one onion grated, two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of salt, a sprinkle of paprika, which I use more, pepper, three eggs. This is mixed all up. That's for the inside of the stuffed cabbage. Now it says one ring of kielbasa. I use two. It says two cans of tomato soup. I use tomato soup. You can use jars of tomato sauce, anything that you like. It says lots of water, add salt. It says chop the cabbage at the bottom and we'll go over that later. It says cook for 45 minutes. So I got my cabbage boiling in the pot. So I have three pounds of chopped meat, pepper, paprika, two cups of rice, three eggs, an onion, two reams of kielbasa. I have two small uh, ham hocks, which I usually have two large ones, which you can't find right now. Uh, so I have a porchetta that I froze about a week ago. It was so big I froze half of it. So I'm gonna put that in there because that's a nice flavor. Instead of using cloves of garlic, I used a couple of tablespoons of chopped garlic. I, uh, you're supposed to use Campbell's soup. I prefer to use the ragu tomato sauce, it's a better flavor. And then a few years ago, my mom said throw Bloody Mary mix in there because that has so many spices in it. And I have for the past couple of years and it really kicks it up good. And salt and pepper and paprika. So preparing the rice, I have two cups of rice. Normally when you cook rice for a meal, one cup of rice, two cups of water. So this is two cups of rice, it would be four cups of water, but I don't want to cook it completely soft. So I put a cup and a half of water, which I'm gonna to bring to a boil. I put butter into it, which I always do. That helps the rice from sticking. So once the water boils, you put the rice in, you bring it back to a boil, then you simmer it, and then that should absorb all the water. And like I say, I've got to keep a close eye on it because I don't want it to fully cook. All right, the rice absorbed all the water. It's semi-cooked. It will fully cook inside the chopped meat when the cabbages are rolled. Uh, so right now, I just let that sit in the pot. Okay, there's my onions minced. All right, so you need a big bowl to mix all this in. Put in my onion. Chopped meat, kind of break it up best you can. Big pot of rice. I use two tablespoons, nice big ones. Paprika, pepper. If you take some cold water and run it inside of the edge of the leaves, it helps them separate. It makes life a lot easier. some of the mixture, put it just below the edge, roll the edge so it meets the other one, tuck in the sides, and continue rolling. Then you have to poke some holes in it because you want the mixture to absorb the juices in the pot when it's boiling. Some 
the leaves from the cabbage and put them down on the bottom of the pot. Um, I put some sauerkraut in there, which is not on the recipe, but my mom told me to do it years ago. I've taken two jars of uh, spaghetti sauce, poured the sauce in there, filled the jars with water, and then put them inside. I stirred this up a little bit. I have a jar of Bloody Mary mix. Which I'm gonna put in there. Oh, splashing. And again, I put some water in the bottle. Stir it around. Get all that in there. Then I start placing the cabbage into the pot. Kind of get them down inside. Um, then I take kobasi. Go kobasi in there. Like I say, I usually have huge ham hocks, but the porchetta is going to do good. Ham hocks. Want to get them down inside. 